Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest and today we are taking a look at a sad situation called Hotbit right so Hotbit an article I saw an article coming out of Crypto Platter right Hotbit exchange suspends operations and advises advises withdrawals right so do you need to worry well, if you are watching this right now, it means you've got no need to worry. The ones that need to worry are the ones who are actually not keeping up with the news. So that's what we are going to be jumping into. We're going to be jumping into the reason why Whatbit is uh, suspending operations, basically closing down, right? And I'm going to link in the description uh, the article uh, to, to, to if you want to read the full article. But uh, you see here on May 22, which is today, the cryptocurrency trading platform Hotbit announced that it will be closing permanently. Users are urged to withdraw all funds from the exchange before 21 June, right? So that's the key date right there, 21 June. You need to have withdrawn anything that you have in Hotbit, right? So Hotbit goes further to explain uh, why they are doing this, right? So of course, this article summarizes nicely. The link is in the description if you want to... Uh, get to that but basically there are three main uh, reasons why hotbit right is uh, suspending operations so the first one they're just talking about the deterioration of the operating conditions after the hotbit management team was forced to suspend operations for several weeks due to investigation in august i did cover this extensively on the channel right that's one of the things and also they mention here uh, multiple crises in crypto including the collapse of ftx uh, and also the banking crisis uh, causing US, uh, USDC to off-peg, right, to de-peg. And then also, secondly, the change in crypto industry trend, the successive collapse of large centralized institutions has led to the industry to gradually in two years either embrace the regulation or become more decentralized, right? So the Wordbit team believes that centralized exchange sex are becoming increasingly cumbersome with a highly complex and interconnected business that are difficult to comply with, right? And also lastly, uh, since the beginning, Hotbit has uh, been characterized by, pro by providing a rich variety of assets and uh, valued methods and uh, value-added methods. Uh, Hotbit was first exchanged to list numerous emerging currencies, including SHIB, KSM, Green, and so on. So what's the risk right in the market so we, of course we are seeing like we did speak about the collapse of ftx right uh luna and all that that we're going to see consequences of this way into the future even all the way up until june 2023 even beyond that so we see here another one by the dust in the sense of hotbit exchange right but uh, you can access your funds right now but you need to transfer your funds out if you've got anything in Hotbit, right? I also have used Hotbit for a couple of years and definitely I'll be moving everything that I have from there out of the exchange, right? So what can we expect and what other risks are there? So if you're going to move your funds out of Hotbit, where are you going to place them, right? So unfortunately with Hotbit, it does list a lot of coins, right, that are not available in any other centralized exchanges or the top extra centralized exchanges so you might have to actually move your funds uh, to to like a DeFi wallet right that would be the best option that you have if your crypto is not available on any other uh, exchange at the moment right because if we just uh, go on coin market cap i've just been looking at exchanges that have got a significant number of coins like Hotbit already Hotbit is not even showing here already I think they have just removed it from being uh, from showing here so we see Get.io uh, has got about 1728 uh, coins right so exchanges with a large number of coins can be at risk at the situation that is occurred with Hotbit because you can see here they do mention right here at the bottom that um, Hotbit was also has suffered uh, numerous uh, problems such as repeated uh, cyber attacks and exploitation of project defects by malicious users, resulting in significant losses. Therefore, Hotbit believes that the operating mobile model of supporting a diverse range of assets is unsustainable from a risk management standpoint. So basically, they are saying. They are operating method of just listing just about anything, anyone who wants to be listed. Because as we have discussed, uh, the smaller exchanges, they make most of their money from listings, 
right, rather than trading. So if you see a Binance, Crypto.com, they make more of their revenue from trading, from trading fees, and these smaller exchanges make most of their re revenue from listing. So they are saying it's unsustainable because of the multiple issues, um, the just the crypto the crypto market at the, at the uh, regulation as well as um, uh, just the, the the way that it comes all the issues that comes with listing a whole lot a whole lot of uh, different types of um, exchanges so you can see already what bit announced that they are, they are to stop operations from may 22 right so where which exchange is safe to put your money into right so one of the things that i just wanted to talk about is some of these exchanges with a whole lot of coins this is not going to be sustainable in the long run they are going to need to change the way that they operate so for example exchanges like getio max cool coin they are boasting large number of tokens right you can see here 1228 coins 1600 in max cool coin 842 Right, so they can also, uh, they are really feeling some of these effects of listing this huge number uh, of tokens. But this is not to say that uh, they are going to go the same direction as Hotbit, right? Uh, but I'm just saying it is a risk. So if you don't want to be always be on your toes in crypto, moving your assets around, you might want to avoid exchanges like Gate.io, Max, Coolcoin, Bitmart. I use these exchanges myself. Right, especially like Bit Bitmart, right? Get IO as well. I use these exchanges myself, but right, if you want more stability, right, and you prefer to invest on a centralized exchange, I'll just say go to the top exchanges, right? So you can just go to let's just go with the score. Yeah. So you can just go to Binance, right? Coinbase, Kraken. KuCoin, uh, OKX, you can go to those ones. But this is not to say that these uh, exchanges are 100% safe. They are not going to be uh, closing down or whatever, right? The crypto regulation right now is coming to bite a lot of exchanges, a lot of uh, projects, right? Especially centralized exchanges. So just to say, for now, it might be safe for you to just transfer your funds into a DeFi wallet. And you know whatever happens, right, in a DeFi wallet, the coins are yours. But as it is in crypto, you always need to keep up to date to with all uh, the platforms or rather the projects that you are invested into because things can change very, very quickly. For example, with Hotbit, if you are not checking your Hotbit, you come back next year, right? And then you wonder what happened. June 21 is the deadline, right? I don't necessarily think that this is fair. They need to keep this open for at least a uh, six months all the way up to a year for people to be able to take out their funds because not everyone right is um, stays up to date with the news but it is the nature of of crypto right things move very quickly and an exchange is not a place actually you should be storing your crypto you should just be uh, exchanging your crypto on an exchange you don't need to store it of course there are some who prefer to store some of your crypto on exchanges, centralized exchanges. I do the same with certain types of crypto. I prefer storing them on an exchange, but there are risks that come with it. You just need to understand them. So what bit, right? Uh, we call it a day for them. They are out. The effects of uh, the multiple issues we had last year, Luna, FTX, uh, just a crypto in general regulation, right? And many more, I believe, are going to be coming. So this is something I just wanted to share with you for today. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up to the video, and I'll see you in the next one.